Okay, let's see. 1968, we still have a fair bit of ways to go before either the talks or the war. So... Hmm. I think the Levant Confederation and Golden Path Canada as well. That's not too bad. Um, hmm. First off, let's connect our realm up a bit. The widespread destruction of national infrastructure is another legacy of a chaos that once engulfed Western Russia. And this severely limits the civilian economy both in absolute size as well as, it, as an expansion and development potential. Thus, a new focus will be placed on the construction of new railroads and highways between our major ec economic centers and ports. This will promote the possibility of people and goods as rapidly as possible and, and in as large a grouping as possible, and so encourage further economic expansion within the sovereignty. There we go. Well, there goes Salazar. Uh, France has taken Algeria, it seems. We got uh, the populist and racist question mark in France. Ground support. Let's see, Levantine. Oh, that's the Levantine Kingdom. I think the Confederation made it in the last one, I want to say. Or they managed to peacefully split all those states up. We could also invest in Russian business, get some military factories. Do we want to do that? Well, what else can we really do? We can do the mil miracle on Vyatka. How's our poverty coming along? We might as well do it right now. Why not? The efforts of the Imperial Recovery Committee have, despite some political opposition, had a, had a real and significant impact on the overall economic health of the sovereignty. Domestic produ products have risen sharply, the sophistication of our industry has increased, and our foreign capital is finally once again entering Russia. These advances, combined with a dramatic increase in administrative efficiency, as resulting from further reforms, have provided the nation with a robust and feature-oriented industrial base by which to affect eventual unification. Bazaar has put in motion for plans for each and every member of the committee to receive a national award presented by himself. The soldier can receive a medal for helping one fellow Russian, so too can the committee for helping millions. I don't think he was talking about the Levantine Kingdom there as his unifier. I'm just saying that um, that's who's le leading right now. You can be cooed by the Indian Kami. Let's see if that happened here. It did not. I think I've seen what happened, though. That happened sometimes, though. Though I might be mistaken. Let's encourage political thought. Pay off more debt. Get working on experimental helicopters and go from here. What else do we got? Research facilities, academic base. The miracle on the Vyatka. Let's see how our poverty rate is going. Oh my god, that is amazing. Whoo! We'll get a 25%. And then maybe even down to 15 to 25%. Soon enough. Um, we can go ahead... The UAE was a hub for gold and luxury goods smuggling to India. That makes sense, then, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Invest in Russian business. Let's do it. Russian business has, for a long time, barely existed. Owners lost their factories either to communist expropriation or German bombers. But times have changed. The, in even the relatively short time since unification, we've observed the organic development of small-scale industry among some of our more enterprising citizens. This presents us an opportunity. 
by investing in these businesses and subsidizing the formation of new ones, we can accelerate the generation of domestic industry by citizens rather than by direct government intervention. The Imperial Recovery Committee has been very clear that such is a pathway towards true economic growth, and neither we nor the Tsar have any reason to disagree. UAE is home to large Indian expat community. Yeah. Just set out number the locals. Maybe. I mean, I know... I know Dubai has a pretty big, whatchamacallit, they have a bit, pretty big foreign labor presence, which they've been accused of treating like slaves. Holding their passports and shit like that. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Murmansk actually has a pretty big... Has pretty good potential to be improved and turned into industrial center. So let's work on that. The Kafala system. Man, it even has a name. Goddamn. Let's see what else do we work on. Let's work on some stuff here. Practiced by almost every Gulf monarchy. Ooh, yeah. Let's do some over some European overtures. Russia's long been a continent of monarchy. Even the Reich now, that now occupies so much of it despises even the concept of the institution. Some monarchies remain, however, and owing to his possession of a grand Romanov bloodline, our Tsar is connected to many of them through old marriages, alliances, and partnerships. These relationships have lied dormant for many years, but now it's time to relive them for the modern age. We will, using their increasingly experienced persons of imperial diplomatic corps, establish mutually beneficial initiatives and cement our status as a regional power. Dreams of further expansion notwithstanding, of course. Funny enough, I don't think Iraq has a Kafala system. I mean, that would make sense... I mean, they still more or less have the American system that we kind of gave them after Saddam. From my understanding, I could be totally wrong, and if I am, ignore me. Oh, I mean, and I, they're not a monarchy. So... That doesn't, it doesn't necessarily fit properly, I guess. I don't know. A great conspiracy... Japan, what are you guys doing? The historical connections and relationships, familial or otherwise, between the Romanov's dynasty and those of other European monarchs who remain on their thrones offer the state a unique opportunity. Kafalo system was practiced in Yemen till the big... Yeah, okay, yeah. By leveraging those relations, along with utilizing friendly emigrate networks and expanding membership and expa expertise of the Imperial Diplomatic Corps, we can begin a coordinated campaign with, to win support from our countries. Though they may, in most cases, not hold the direct authority that ours are does, they are still monarchs, and among all monarchs, there is a common bond. Consequently, efforts in this direction will begin. Soon our diplomats will be dispersed through the old capitals of Europe. Hopefully, you rem to great effect in establishing both the reputation of sovereignty and the value of commencing relations with it towards mutual benefit. Do we want up construction? I'm kind of... Their construction is actually kind of high. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta... I'm, I'm curious, whenever I get my monetization, how many of my videos are going to be monetized? That's a th big thing I'm wondering about. Like, what will and will not be monetized? So, only one way to find out there, I guess. Hmm. Let's do Swedish royal ties. The Kingdom of Sweden, one of the few European nations to escape the grip of German tyranny, is an ideal candidate for one of our first diplomatic overtures. King Gustav V Adolf, 
though himself a constitutional monarch, is reportedly a measured character, and the country's lack of alignment with any one geopolitical faction ensures that we will not make enemies by extending relations. The decision has, therefore, been made for the Tsar himself to visit the country, departing by ship from Arkhangelsk. His visit will not only facilitate the drafting of formal recognition and trade agreements with the Swedes, but will also act to further strengthen our legitimacy on the world stage. Do they look at the comments? I don't think so. They have a bot that I think just randomly deletes comments randomly. Because I see comments pop up. Yeah, they, there goes Ornberg. I see comments like that uh, people post in my comment section. And I think, okay, those aren't too bad. And so I look to go up and respond to it, and they're not there. Yeah, they got deleted for whatever reason. Early industrial robotics. See, I hope that a certain As the Tsar's motorcade arrived at the royal palace in Stockholm, he could not help but be impressed by its simple beauty, the beauty of a palace never sacked by revolutionaries. He did his best to show an air of detachment, but in truth he was very nervous. He was meeting another royal. Oh fuck, I didn't pause it. God damn it. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, fuck, we're, we're loading the save so I can read that event. It says that Soldier Boy is streaming right now, and for whatever reason, he's in my recommended feed. I don't, I don't know why, but okay, good to know. Finance or bad orange man is not looking at the comments. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Soldier Boy apparently streams. So I was motorcade arrived at the Royal Palace in Stockholm. He cannot be helped but be impressed at the simple beauty. Oh, okay, I got you. Hmm. It is very best to show an air to match, but in truth, he was very nervous. He was meeting of a royal, and he had to show both his and Russia's strength. Respectfully shown towards the king's study, where the real discussion would take place, he prepared himself. King Gustav received him warmly, speaking excellent Russian more warmly than he had expected. It soon became evident that the king greatly enjoyed receiving someone, especially another royal, who was not part of Germany's sphere. Before long, Vladimir knew he had found strong common ground with Sweden. Discussions turned to trade. Before day's end, the deal had been struck. Russian resources, particularly oil, in exchange for Swedish technical expertise and investment. An excellent trade, indeed. If only they all could go so well. Foreign trade modifiers going up. So where Bell actually cares about the people for lulls. That would be funny. I don't know. That's probably not the best one, realistically. Let's go with a Roman holiday. Italy, though once among the nations that invaded our land, is and remains the most powerful monarchy in Europe. In many ways, it exemplifies the Tsar's own goals, a strong and prosperous land with large swaths of territory to which to secure resources. And with a loving people, democratic participating in government under respected king. We will therefore reach out to them. Members of a diplomatic corps will travel to Rome and attempt with all effort to secure formal relations with them. If they are successful, a corresponding increase in our national legitimacy, along with future beneficial trade prospects, can be realized. Be back, wouldn't it? I'm glad to hear, McCad. Glad to hear that happen for you. So we gotta wait till 69, nice. And then we can bring, begin uh, unification talks. Wait, 
Won't this piss off Germany? What will piss off Germany? Oh shit, our general is in the government. Nice. Guy's a great game, maybe. Yeah. You're supposed to piss on Germany. We'll do air support. Get that. Ground support bonuses. We'll be becoming buddy-buddy with Italy. Oh, okay. I mean, Germany probably wants to kill us anyway. Tsar so Vladimir excused himself from his hard handlers for a moment and moved to sit on a bench overlooking the Italian capital. Though he knew Russia had improved tremendously from where it once was, he, it was nothing like Rome, nothing like the skyscrapers, nothing like the number of cars, and above else, nothing like the feeling of tranquility. He wished he could spend more time in this beautiful city, but he reminded himself he was not there for a vacation. He was here for his people. He was here to obtain both diplomatic recognition and economic opportunity, but his progress had been slow and he was frustrated no matter how much his advisors reminded him that such was normal when it came to diplomacy. And so his mind wandered towards reflecting on the beauty of Rome. One day, he promised himself, Russia would have buildings, cities like this. Would it ha have already been possible had not the communists and then the Germans not destroyed everything in their path? If his family kept the throne? He pressed those thoughts aside and instead pictured a Vyatka dominated by skyscrapers. He liked the thought. Will Russia ever be like this? Maybe, maybe not. Until then, let's work on what do we want to get working towards. The White Army traditions are going to be nice. Yep, Arab money. You got it. Let's learn from Western Reclamation. The triumph of the Western Reclama Re Reclamation, the establishment of the authority of the Tsar over our region, was a great victory given to us by the Imperial forces in order to ensure that upcoming campaign of national uni unification are simply similarly successful, we will examine the Western campaigns in great detail once again. In doing so, we will learn where our officers, men, women, and doctrine excelled, and also where they were found wanting. Though it will be difficult to admit our failures and identify avenues towards improvement, we must do so, both for the future of the sovereignty and for the fortunes of the Tsar. It's going up slowly. Industrial expertise. Not bad. Poverty rate is going to be lowered soon, soon enough. Isn't Italy one? Yeah, pretty much. Before the Middle Eastern Crisis, Italy is at... Not quite the top, but it, they're pretty damn good. Economy. Go ahead and celebrate the heroes. They had the bottom of the threesome. Yeah. Less easiest money printer, major economy, less debt. Yeah, um, I still need to do my Italy game. Because uh, I, I, I'm on a timer because Scorza's path is going to get cut. And that seems funny. You know, funny woke fascism. Seems interesting enough, but... From what I could see... The, the, it's pretty easy to get away, de cut the debt away with them. Why well, is it getting cut? They're reworking Italy in general. They, um, they're doing massive overhauls to the system. There's going to be four possible fascist successors. They're completely redoing Italian democracy. The Imperial Army is nothing without its valiant soldiers, men who could and did give their lives for God, country, and czar in the campaign of regional consolidation. We must make the stories of these heroes known. In doing so, not only will our current and future soldiers be motivated by the stories of those who came before them, but our efforts to promote our campaigns will simplify. The general populace cannot but support the aims of our mil military, once made aware of the many stories of noble action and sacrifice contained within.
cut away that debt slowly but surely. Telling democracy, if you don't vote for vote, then I will gift you car bombs. That's Irish, not Italian. What would be best for the U.S. and the um, RFK to Glenn? That's probably my favorite. Expand state welfare programs based. Let's do it. Celebrate the heroes. We could stick to our guns or do a new school of thought. Honestly, new school of thought is kind of what we're doing anyway, so we might as well go for that. Some time ago, we considered orienting our military towards lessons learned from studying the approaches of other nations such as America, Britain, Germany, and Japan. In time since, we have acquired vast new territories and the industrial bases with them, which are critical for the production of equipment needed for modern warfare. As a result, and despite the objections of some of our more traditionalist officers, we will we'll decisively choose to orient the Imperial Army towards specialist training and recruitment. While this is likely to cause a reduction in recruitment efforts, owing to the stringent requirements of such programs, it will ensure that those same specialist formations are capable of performance beyond that which might otherwise be expected. Both in TNO and IRL, early telling politicians threaten to vote as with bomb bombs. Oh, okay. Why does that not surprise me? That really doesn't surprise me. Jeez. Okay, poverty rate is going to go down. <sighs> Another Gang 4 Let's Play when it gets updated. Probably not. At least not. I don't know if I'll do Gang of Four for a while, because I know the core of it isn't really changing. You have some new stuff being added, but not too much there. Like, new content. TNO2, yeah. TNO2, I might do another Gang of Four game. Just to see what changes. Let's do some modern training methods. Discipline is key in any military. Without it, soldiers cannot be relied upon, officers may disobey orders, and larger tactical and strategic planes are doomed to failure. In the past, we've noticed several displays of ill-discipline within the Imperial forces. And while that might have once been acceptable, it's no longer. Accordingly, we'll reorient our military training programs to place greater emphasis on discipline and unit cohesion. By doing so, we will ensure that when the campaigns eastward begin, the integrity of our formations will remain, even over the vast distances that will be encountered. There we go. Decrease in poverty. Beautiful. How does that affect our economy? Very much so. We got more money coming in. Let's even invest into a bit of construction. So we have, yeah, we have a lot of factories coming along. Spilling so factories. Let's get working on. Build more niche Nilk Road. Get that maxed out. What has max infrastructure right now? Here does, so we'll do that there. Sictiv car is pretty close, so we'll do stuff there. Isn't Scorza similar to Spear? You can kind of choose what you do with Scorza. I mean, you can do basically status quo fascism, go more right-leaning, leaning, or the famous meme bath, where you go down the, you know, do woke fascism, woke, wholesome, chungus, left-wing, affirmative action, women's rights, fascism. 
It decided to next focus on the efforts of a diplomatic corps on Iberia through the dispatch of a mission to Madrid. As a major regional power in Europe, but also with its self-united German power bloc, it is an ideal candidate for the establishment of favorable relations with our nation. As one of the members of a corps who both speaks Spanish and possesses experience in Iberia, our diplomatic mission will be led by one Boris Skiosarev, formerly the Tsar's representative in the Beresniki government. Though some have raised with cons concern that his troubling past in Andorra could complicate matters, Skiosarev has dismissed them. Time will tell if he is the correct choice. You can choose with Spear as well. I mean, the thing, the thing with that is that Spear wants to do something else, and he can be... Forced by either the hardliners and the part Nazi party, or the Gang of Four to go a different path. Scores that can do whatever he wants, from what I can tell. It is completely up to him what he wants to do. And he's not being egged on by anyone else. Better research facilities, excellent. I'm going to check how our poverty is now. Ooh. Let's pr begin unification talks. The sovereignty of Western Russia has overcome its obstacles and conquered all their nations on its way, either through peaceful unification or forceful war. The situation it faces now, however, is a unique one. The Euro military district does not wish to spill pride. They have l a government that is sympathetic to ours. We must undergo the long and arduous process of binding our two nations together so that we will stand strong in the west of Russia is within our sight. This will tighten the leash on our administration, but it will be worth it in the end. Hmm. Let's increase our diplomatic weight. Let's propose mutual training exercises. It's been a very long time since I've done any of this, so I gotta kinda figure it out. Returning to Iberia for the first time in many years, Boris Kiyosarev stepped out of a plane and shook hands with Francisco Serrano, the Iberian representative. Exchanging pleasantries in Spanish, a language Skiosarev had not practiced in a long time, but he proceeded to Serrano's vehicle and began driving towards Madrid's city center. As he did, Skiosarev could tell that Serrano was distant. And he thought he knew why. Francisco, I want this mission to be successful, and so I think we should address history. Serrano not responded as he continued. That affair with Andorra was many, many years ago. Where I, why, I'm sure the new bishop doesn't even remember what happened. And you know, if you could help smooth things smooth and over any lingering feelings from others, I would be most appreciative. Serrano's le eyes left the road for a moment as he quickly inspected the thickly wrapped roll of money that Skiosrev had removed from his pocket. Are, are you trying to bribe me, Skiosrev? <laughs> Nobody remembers Andorra. I just haven't driven in some time. And if that wasn't your intention, you should have thought harder on it. Russian money doesn't have a very favorable exchange rate. Skiosrev looked down at the bills in disbelief. Ruples! What good was a counterfeiting operation if it didn't even print the right money? As Skiosarev cursed his reliable counterfeiter back in Arkhangelsk, Serrano continued driving. Why did we have to send him? The Second Russian War is going to be cool, and the Great Asian War, may, the devs say, will make the Second World War look like a fucking cakewalk. Yeah, I'm looking forward to both when both when they drop. Let's um, get our place in the world figured out. The frenzied efforts of a Imperial diplomatic corps over recent months has proven, in general, to be highly successful. Despite the some failures encountered, by and large, the state has seen the development of successful trade relations with both the major and minor countries, the expansion of formal recognition, and more besides. As we continue to expand our temporal authority over both our own lands and those to the east, there will be no doubt that more dip be more diplomatic challenges encountered. But just as we have so far, the diplomatic corps will overcome them in the name of the state and the czar. I think Russia will take part in the Great Asian War for obvious reasons. Yeah. Except in this is 
15. Tension is 15 as well. Really, Govna? Kingdom of Wales. Wallace has been re-elected. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, Vladivostok has to return to Russian hands after all. Ooh. They want a trade deal. Their resources at a fair price. Let's do cash for oil. The focused and determined efforts by the Imperial Diplomatic Corps on orders from the Tsar and his government have been met with significant success. Many nations were now viewed as the legitimate government of Western Russia, and thus implicitly as a likely candidate for national reunification. Our relations with nations outside the German sphere of influence, both in Europe and elsewhere, have become much stronger, and we now stand far apart from the many statelets that came before us. This increase in international political relationships was also matched by a corresponding increase in diplomatic relationships as well. The vast resources of our lands have found many markets abroad, and both technical expertise and foreign capital flows back into the sovereignty in return, providing opportunities and prosperity both for our government and for millions of Russians besides. Truly great success for the future, and important of futures to come. Russia is regaining its rightful place. What are we doing? We could do... A non-aggression proposal. Let's get the Imperial Russian Navy going. It has been nearly 40 years since a vessel bearing the flag of Imperial Russian... of Imperial Russia has sailed the seas. With the capture of major ports during our regional consolidation, this should be rectified. An investment will therefore be made in the development of naval technology, and the administrative infrastructure needed for a navy will be created. While we may not have be able to match the size of our major of major navies for many years to come, we can promote and protect trade, and secure our territorial waters, and carry our flag around the world, making the return of a czar known to all. Go ahead and enhance our diplomatic standing. Ooh. They've agreed to joint exercises. Wonderful. Ooh. Technology. Let's get vertical envelopment. So here the U.S. will get involved in the Second West Russia War, telling them to stop. I can imagine Russia saying Moscow, St. Petersburg, or not at all. Yeah, I see that too. Man, we have positive research speed, boys. Holy shit. Oh, that is great. Yeah, 2020 biggest grossing movie in China is The 800. Hmm. When you're entering it on civilian construction, just get working on that. We got a lot of stuff we can get back to working on. New artillery. Do border access treaty. Uh, yeah, let's sign that treaty. We were actually already going to sign that, or send it their way. Let's propose a declaration of friendship. Onwards. We have negative tension right now, man. Get the Imperial Russian Air Service. 
Particulars of West Russia, the of Western Russia, made it for many years extremely difficult to maintain an air service of any kind. German interdiction, maintaining and train, maintenance and training, and material production and repair were all often, at least particularly, beyond our resources. That situation has now changed considerably. With the sovereignty now unified and at least relatively secure, the time has come to invest in the creation of a formal air service through direct state investment in aeronautical technologies. Though any such service will be begin and likely remain for some time to come, our soldiers and civilians alike can take heart in the knowledge that their brave compatriots fly above, protecting them from harm and inflicting the same on the enemy. There we go. Better cast. Hands are diplomatic standing. How's our economy doing? We have debt. Up the poverty relief programs. Anything else we can do in this? Speer? Well, not for soldiers in warehouse. We're not real soldiers, but we have a bunch of conscripts. So that'd be interesting. Okay, yeah. Let's do... Invest in... Imsec. The advanced mechanical plane has for many years been a key factor in the proper equipment and thus victory of the imperial military. With the resources of the sovereignty now at our disposal, the plane can both be invested and expanded upon in order to compound the advantages it offers us. With the expansion of the industrial facilities at, in, at and around the complex, we will greatly expand the state's ability to produce vast amounts of equipment needed for the modern warfare and our eventual drive to the east. All that's needed is a czar's ward. All Gang 4 has to do is Hand of Muscovy and St. Petersburg, and they'll be chill. But they'll also pissed off. What do they want? Sure, bring them in. Um. Hand of Muscovy and St. Petersburg. That's gonna piss off everyone in Germany, though. Declaration of Friendship accepted. Beautiful. Let's hold a preliminary conference. So if things were already tent, they're probably going to get cooed if they just hand over St. Petersburg and Moscow. No central heroes and many characters get Game of Thrones quick. Okay, yeah. Ooh. What do you want to be a sailor for? There are greater storms in politics than you will ever find at sea. Piracy, broadsides, blood on the decks. You will find them all in politics. David Lloyd George. The return of the old. God save the queen. Jolly-o? Oh, we already did that one. Okay. Well, there goes the council. God damn it. I beer. I might just be fucked now. Answer to my standing. Let's do that. Expand of special forces. Creation and deployment of specialized formations such as the fabled bridge burners during our regional conquest proved highly effective in achieving that victory. It is therefore been proposed that we expand these formations and the proposal will be accepted. Through direct investment, we will optimize the structure, doctrine, and material requirements of these formations and thereby promote the creation of more of them within the military command structure. When the great campaign of national unification begins, they will facilitate our advance towards victory, though the acts of great skill and daring for which they have become known. 
There's one thing you don't want. It's angry, cheeky, breaky Russians at your door asking about Moscow and St. Petersburg. No, you don't want that. We'll cut down on artillery being built. We have experimental helicopters. Mira, let's get working on early helicopters. And what do we want to invest here? Maybe a few tanks. Oh. Auto save. Game. So, public support for unification has increased. Very nice. Everyone's more receptive to the idea. Ooh. Didn't Spear depth trap Muscovy in exchange for St. Petersburg? Yeah, that's what happened there. Alright, prepare, prepare, prepare. Let's hope this conference goes well. Mixed results, shaking hands. Forward under peace, unity, and Russia. Begin the final unification talks. I think real quick, I'll go ahead. I'll put these guys on the other border. I think we should be good from there. I'm not so confident we are. We're, we're sending the guys away. I can't imagine the locals are too pleased about Germany. I don't think so either. You don't even the Zolver, Zolvern. Are they not? They might not be, actually. Hmm. Dip for a bit to grab some fish for supper. No problem, man. This is, we're, we're just working on the new generation of officers. As the upper command structure of our military agents, it's critical that we ensure that there's a new generation of innovative, loyal, and skilled officers to replace them. The creation, years ago, of the Vyaka General Staff Academy has helped tremendously in the effort, but as our nation has grown, so too have the requirements for leadership. Investments must be made. The operation of e the operating budget of the Academy will be therefore greatly increased, allowing it to not only graduate more officers for command, but also provide them with superior training in the many fields to which an officer must be made aware of. When we begin our drive to carry Vizar's flag to the Pacific, we can be confident that the best officers in Russia will lead the charge. Think fuck it's real fish, not fish sticks with Tom. Yeah. Who's winning right now? Ooh, Kemerovo is. What are they going with right now, though? Yeah, sure, secure peace with them. US Japanese talks, let's see what walls can do. Let's see what old Bennett boy is capable of doing. T-pose on them even harder. Set our dominance. Pay off a debt. Next, let's update our designs. The near total destruction of Western Russia's industrial and academic base resulted in, among other things, a consequent lack of innovation and in military designs. Many patterns were copied from foreign sources or were crude makeshift solutions produced in a decentralized manner. Our current position, however, allows us to rectify that. Investments will be made in the design of new various types of materials and coordination councils with military manufacturers. will be formed in order to promote the physical production of them. In this way, we will ensure that Russian designs are built by Russian factories for a Russian army experiencing Russian conditions. Truly, we cannot ask for more. There's a new Netflix movie... There's a new movie series on Netflix called Seaspiracy. What's that about? Is it a conspiracy? But it's C. It's a war in Yemen. Oh, 
Who would have thought? Civil war in Yemen. No. You're, you're joking. After our diplomat... Our diplomats leave the conference with their new compatriots in tow in a treaty declaring the West Ural military district's integration into the sovereignty of West Russia. The two nations, already so intertwined with each other's economy, military, and politics, have now formalized their unity by sharing a banner and name. Though work in adapting the Ural military district's laws and administration remains, our union can no longer be interfered with or interrupted by other ill-intentioned na nations. With malice towards none and charity for all, we have Bound one more wound on the motherland's bleeding soma, yet many more fester. See, conspiracy is basically how fishing is literally killing the ocean more than pollution. That makes sense. Core all of this up. We have Lenin's body. Ooh. Whew, okay. We got a lot of units. First things first, wow. Um. Get some of these militia guys out. Mess around with this a little bit. We can get a new general. And we're going to have a lot of good generals, too. Let's get an infantry leader. Move one there. Got some tanks here, actually. Interesting. Move the tanks into their own armies. general we'll go with what do we want we'll go full cove destroy the body dog boat for the romanovs that's what i'm probably gonna do fuck no the internet addicting games become a fucking premium service i think it's about money to, oh fuck jesus really Change all these to, yeah, we'll do that then. Man, we just about have. Oh, we, we have a pretty solid army here. We have a panzer leader right here, armor leader. Beautiful. Change this one to a that. Oh, so we got another tank. Some fucking shitty division. Motorized, we'll put that there. So 
we got tank there. Shitty guy there. And that's it. He took my family, then I will take your revolution. That's not, yeah. Let's do that, then. Don't get too much into here, but get some more of that. And a bit of that. Well. Let's end the cult of personality. Do we hit the button now? Is that how we end this video? Do we hit the button? Real quick, I want to check field marshals. Who do we got here? Get Patov. There's our field marshal in comparison to these guys. 3 2 4 2. We'll go with Pate Pavel Batov. There we go. They don't have any helicopters, sadly. Now we have an even bigger deficit now. Part of it's probably because of the military that we now have is huge. That was our construction. We'll just build a lot of civilian factories. Got all these. Never again, not like this. Lens body's been captured. And we're about to destroy it. Insurrection Oman. Proof worker training. I'll just do all this actually. Fuck it. Um The Far Eastern Realm, I know we can. Kimarovo, it depends on whether or not they go with Lydia or Yuri. Yeah. Lydia or Yuri. We'll finish up the focus tree. And now there goes our manpower. Oof. Walston do a good job with getting the ports back. Feels bad, man. Well. We got one last focus, boys. The Imperial Army marches forward. I'm not sure I'll check that in a second. As a result of our doctrinal equipment and leadership reforms and investment, we have once again achieved a remarkable modernization and professionalization of the Imperial Army. Operational plans are drawn and executed faster. Administrative staff and control formations has improved, and the disposition of our forces has considered, been considerably strengthened. The military stands prepared and ready to begin the inevitable campaign of national reunification, and though none can say what or who it will face, all can say that they are confident in its ability to achieve victory in the name of the Tsar. Let's see what they got. They still have Mikhail. Oh, they're tightening control though. Ooh. Man. Looks like the Roos is winning. We have to save our family. Not a... It's a noble goal, but I don't know how well we can do it. There goes Rabirin Wars. Um... I think they're cousins, or some sort of cousins. Encourage political thought. No, pass a run. Oh 
So we'll wait for the next focus, and then we'll hit the button. Let's take a look at what we've gotten. Do we have anything? White Armor Traditions has been boosted. You don't have much. So, let's hit the button. The Russian Empire. Oh! We got the tricolor back. Nothing else. We just have a good old tricolor. That is huge. Ooh. I'll take a look at all this real quick. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. We need to save our cousin and uncle. We probably should, but... That'll have to wait for next time.